Right, so you want to set appointments on LinkedIn, but you don't know how to. This video, I'm literally going to go over the whole thing, like from A to Z, live training. I've got my pro profile here right now, and I'm going to show, share with you the exact things that I do to set appointments and things like that. So let's dive straight into it. So every day I would wake up in the morning. The first thing I would do is check my inbox. So I'll go to inbox, click on red, check the inbox, see how many replies. So this person here, I sent them a calendar link on Saturday. I would just send the follow up. I would say, hey, okay, just wanted to check in if you manage to book. Have a great week ahead. Just send the follow up super important to send follow ups. Um, so Lisa said, I'll be open to hearing more. So normally my appointment setter will go in and reply. But um, on this instance, I will go ahead and reply. Um, so there's usually a rough message I say, because I haven't done this in a while, I, need to, I actually need to go and find it. Give me a second here. There's another positive reply. There's another positive reply. Can we meet tomorrow? So this is my pitch message. Um, I mean, literally, guys, you can copy and paste this, have a really good offer, have a call to action, and you get people in your calendar, no problem at all. So um, so she's a, so I help business coaches. So I would tweak this a little bit. I've actually told my appointment set to, to tweak it. So I would say we help business coaches. Yeah, and finally, close deals and retain clients, generating for equal... 40 qualified appointments. I'd obviously delete that bit. Um, and then we help them with content and then go for the call to action. And, you know, write her name. That's going to help. So I'll do that. And I'll send it. So this is the rough message I'd send. Like for every single time someone replies positively, I would then put, put them there. And then normally my tracking sheet. So this is how I track data. If you want this sheet, um, add me on LinkedIn and just message me saying spreadsheet and I'll be more than happy to make a copy and share it over. But to be fully transparent, this is not mine. I got this from a program that I paid $5,000 for. So um, yeah, if you want it, I'll be more than happy to send it over to you for free. So with the tracking sheet, it's going to take some work, but you know, if you want to become good, if you want to become really good at like knowing numbers, knowing how you're doing well, knowing how to be within KPI, you need to track everything. So you need to track basically who you've reached out to from their name to their profile LinkedIn. So you have them there to the date you've actually initially engaged with them. And then you just want to click track. You just want to click yes. And then that number will change. So if I, if I just basically delete this now, see that number changes back to three, three, six, um, and then have like a follow up. What was it? Sales lab, new connection, inbox, follow up, loom, follow up, Canonly. I've just added that little bit extra. Um, and then any notes, and then media scene. So I actually forgot to do this bit. So media scene basically means how much, how many people actually seen the message. Because you can see if someone's seen the message or not. Let me just share it with you now. If you go back into here, for instance. Um, so he's seen the message because he's got his picture there. So um, yeah, how are you going to send him another follow up? Hi, Tony. Um, did, did my message come through on the money's in the follow-up guys to be honest with you if i had to start from zero i would just get really good really good at following up with people majority of my clients i work with right now is because i followed up with them either this initial message either it's a sales call like literally the money's in the follow-up so you'll print money just for just getting really good at following up with people um I would actually, if I had to start from zero, I'd probably create a, literally an agency helping people follow up with prospects that have already engaged in potentially working with them. Like that's literally a niche because not everyone just forgets to follow up. Um, and people only follow up three to four times. Like I personally follow up eight, six to eight times. So yeah, let's go straight back into the training. Um, so yeah, this is the initial bit. So you need to actually track everyone you've messaged. Um, yeah, this is what my VA does this now. Thank God, because it, it, it's going to take a lot of work, guys. It's going to take a lot of work. 
if you're lazy, even though you shouldn't be, you don't really need to, you really only want to track who's actually replied positively. You can just put like prospect one, prospect two, or like how many people you've reached out to. So for instance, you can put 100 people, 100 reach outs um, today, and then you don't really need to worry about the profile. And then you need to track, okay, how many people have actually engaged positively. So for instance, if you've messaged a hundred people by like three people have engaged positively, you need those people's not our names, linked in your URLs, just so you can end up following up with them, etc. So, um, and this is just one of my clients, an example of one of my client spreadsheets that we do. We manage his account, he's a business coach. Um, so yeah. So about 337 prospects, um, we then had, how many people is that? 17 people replied positively. Um, and then 13, 14 people, we sent the calendar link and then five people booked a call. So it's not too bad in terms of that. So reaching out to 337 people would get me five booked calls. And that's the like the maths behind it. And that's how you can just, that's why this appointment setting thing is pretty simple, just because it's all a numbers game. So, you know, okay, I need to reach out to another 337 people to potentially get me um, a, you know, five booked calls. And then out of those five, one turns into a client and then that's it. So it's all, it's all numbers. It's all knowing your numbers. So let's go back into training. So that's the tracking sheet. Like I said, if you want it, just drop me a message, add me on LinkedIn and just drop saying, hey, I've, you know, watch your YouTube video. Can I have a spreadsheet? And I'll be more than happy to send it over to you. So that's the first thing. I'll check my inbox. Like I've checked the inbox. Um, these are just a few guys that I want to use to help me with my profile, my video content. And then what I would try and do, I actually personally need to get better at this. My brother does it really well. I would do a bit of commenting, you know, engaging people's posts and stuff like that write something meaningful to say. Um, I would really try and t like comment on people I want to help. So for instance, I had a, a chat with Dina actually the other day and I would comment on someone like hers post. You know, my ideal client as a business coach or leadership coach too. So I'll be commenting on Monica's post, you know, just complimenting her. Um, you know, if I can't be bothered to comment, I would at least like her post to just show some love. Um, but yeah, you know, LinkedIn is, is all about, um, you know, engaging with people and things like that, just like other platforms like LinkedIn. If you can get really good at engaging with people on here, um, you can grow very, very quickly, like very quickly. Um, I personally, people might disagree with me, but I personally don't think it's um, a high, what's the word? I, I don't think it's as effective as what people say it is, I, but, you know, I, I just prefer to be in the DMs messaging people than just commenting on people's posts every day. So that's essentially what I would do with that. Um, and then in terms of posting, I personally post every day. At, I've had a mess around with it. Sometimes I post at 9.30 a.m. UK time. Sometimes I post 1.30 p.m. Just because people in the States, because I have a lot of um, people I'm connected with in the States can, you know, it'll be like, 8 a.m. over there so they can sort of see um, the message that my post and stuff like that but the best time I've got engagement is 9 30 my local time so I'm probably going to go back into doing it at that time and so what did I post today so today was a sort of like a story post you know I've booked 500 plus meetings on LinkedIn without and I literally have booked over 500 meetings you can check my YouTube page without a marketing degree marketing degree, A star on my GCSEs. I never went to uni. Um, it was actually a platform called YouTube that changed my life. I believe anyone can, you know, you can carry on reading it. You can add me on LinkedIn and read it. So this is my post today and this is just a picture of me. And then this is a link that takes someone onto my YouTube page. So that's it with the post. And then my post is really just talking about the problems my niche has all the time. So if you're if you don't want, if you don't have anything to talk about, talk about what you've done. So for instance, I've booked 500 meetings on LinkedIn. So I can talk about that because I've done that. Like Alex Amosi says it all the time, do shit and then speak about the shit you've done. But if you haven't done anything, then you can't really speak about anything. So become that guy and then talk about it. Um, so yeah, 
that's that's pretty much what I do and all my videos on my content on YouTube is just how I get people on my calendar on LinkedIn, how I get my clients, how to book calls. So on if someone gives my brother, they know, okay, Josh always he always talks about booking calls and how to get calls in your calendar through outbound and stuff. You need to be known for one thing. Literally you just need to be known for one thing and and get really good at it. That's all it that's all it takes. Um so yeah, I've I've done a lot of LinkedIn training. So these are all my posts. Um and yeah, that's it with that. Let's check the notification here. So it's like my post. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so once I've done that, I'll go into sales nav also. I'll do the same thing. Click messages, click unread. Okay, go back to all. Okay, he said he would like to learn more. So I would send the same pitch message that I sent here. Um, Lisa's one. Remember, you need to track everything. So track the positive replies. I'll get my appointment setter to do it. Um, but you want to put it into the tracking sheet. Who's replied positively? So I would then just copy and paste here. Hey, Mohammed. Um, I spell his name right. That's that. Perfect. I'm a solopreneur, probably not I do cup, but I'm happy to read your information. Solopreneur. Um probably like make him majority of my clients are actually solopreneurs. So it might be a good fit. And then I'll go ahead and explain solopreneurs. Is that spelt right? Pre, is it EU? See, my spelling is so bad. N E U R. Pre E R E N E U R. Um, and then I will copy and paste this. And then send it, done. Can we meet tomorrow? Perfect, so that's a booked appointment looking like it. I would then send him my calendar link. So with your calendar link, guys, I've had a real mess around with this. And I would personally, I would try and go for less friction. People have their own opinions on this. These are my questions, name, email, number so I can text them and call them if um, just to make sure they show up. LinkedIn handle, are you a business coach? We strictly, so that's really like, I only work with business coaches. So don't jump on the call unless you're a business coach. What's what's your biggest bottleneck stopping you from signing more clients? And then that's it. That's all I talk about, like four questions, not, not a lot of friction, just, you know, get them booked in easy. They're not feeling like, even though they're gonna get sold, they don't really, you don't want them going to the call saying, oh, this guy is going to, he's really going to push to sell me, sell me and stuff like that. So just keep it nice and high level, in my opinion, anyways. So I would say to him, perfect. I'll be like to him. And sometimes with, when you're doing this, texting people back and forth, so they don't think it's automated, it's okay to like add some spelling mistakes. So I would say, yeah, sure. Um, a sure bill I'll drop even stuff like that my calendar my calendar link below and I would say let me know once you book in so I can just confirm it on my end and I'd send it. So you don't worry about doing capitals and stuff like that. You don't want people to think it's automated. So, um, yeah. So that's that. That's literally what I would do. Like, that's literally what I do. So let's check now. So Dr. Joel, I'm pretty, so I've gone in. Let me actually give you an initial message. I sent the initial message. He's replied saying, sure, send some more information. I've given the pitch message. He said, sure thing. 
I've I've sent him my calendar link and then he said, I'm pretty full to Josh. Please provide me with five references from CEOs your systems had worked great for prior to booking a call. I look forward to reviewing your track record. S stuff like this. This is personally a red flag to me. Um, the f he, he's probably waiting for something he doesn't want to see and then be like, no, this is not a good fit. So I would try and like me back in the day would probably go ahead and be like, okay, great. But um, the fact that I've actually never really had someone like this five, like it's not even like one or two references, it's five references. Like who has the time to, I mean, I could get five of my clients, but like who, who has the time to be doing something like that five? One or two is okay, but five. So I'd probably be like, hey, Dr. Joe, um, hope you had a, hope you had a great weekend. Um, I'd be like to, no worries. Can I send over my website, which shares some client success stories? I would say something like that. Um, yeah, but this already is a red flag just because, okay, he's seen it already. Interesting. See what he says to reply. Um, I would personally just leave this one. It just, it's giving me red flags, um, red flag fives in my opinion, but it's part and parcel of the business. So that's literally what I do guys. Um, so, I mean, normally I get my, normally messages start to come in quite a lot frequently towards, you know, afternoon, evening, just because we're targeting clients in the U S in Canada. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's not difficult in terms of reaching out to people before I actually forget to do it. So what I would do, so I'm targeting the business coaches. So there's, I'm going to, I'm going to share with you how to target business coaches on lead search and how to target them also on sales now. So let's dive straight into it. Let me just actually exit all of these. So essentially what I'll do, I'll type in my, I'll type in my ICP business coach. I'll go to see all people. So there's a few ways I'll teach you how to do it on, um, search not people and then groups and events. I'm going to literally show you, show you everything. So I'll go to second degree. I'll go to third degree. Do you know what? I'm actually going to give you the more value. If you're just starting out and you have I, your ideal clients on LinkedIn, you can do something called a database reactivation campaign. And that should get you like five, six calls literally this week. You go into your first degree connections with your ICP. You will go to search with sales navigator. You need sales, but you don't necessarily need sales navigator for this because you just message people already. Um, but I like to do it on sales navigator. I tend to get better response personally on sales navigator. Um, but if you don't have sales navigator, you can just message people here. And then what I would do, I would go ahead and message people. Um, so I message this person on the 9th of September so I can potentially send a follow up or I can offer him something different because you, people might want your help, but they just might want you to word it differently or something like that. So I will go ahead and message all my first three connections and have a conversation send follow-ups, etc. So, I mean, I can literally get my my um, appointment sister to actually follow up with all, all these people. I can get my appointment setter to follow up with all these people. Sorry about that. Someone's calling me. I'm not going to edit it out. Um, yeah, and just literally just follow up with people and stuff like that, like super, super quick way to get appointments. Like, if I knew about this from like the start, um, I would definitely be like booking more appointments with people and things like that. So that's the first way to do it. First degree connections. And then in terms of sales nav, you will literally just click sales nav, as I said, and then you can just message them for free without any credits. So um, yeah, I'm actually gonna get my appointment set to do this because there are so many people that we can potentially reach out to um, that, I can help too personally. So that's that. So 
second and third degree connections are people obviously not in your network. Um, so you can message them. So I've messaged people here. Um, you can do it like that. So that comes in as an email. You can just connect with people. So I would send so in terms of the message. Let me get the message up. Um, so I have, a, I have a mess around with the messages. This one works quite well. So I would then send Nicola, send. So that's what I'll do with that. And you just go ahead and, I mean, you get 200 connection requests. So go ahead and send messages. You can personalize it. Of course, the more personalization, the better, but if you don't have time to personalize it, just have a really good offer and people would reply. Like, that's what I've personally managed to do to book appointment. So don't worry, nece don't necessarily worry too much about personalization and things like that. In terms of location, obviously you can put just wherever you're based. I'm based in the UK or if you're talking to people in the States. All filters, if you go down to all filters, if you just want to be speaking to like the decision makers in the company, so you can put CEO, or founder or maybe owner click show all comes up 10,000 people so it's really like people that are just business um business coaches and then even if i put a quote on here too it will narrow it down to even more let's give this a check yeah, it's gone from 10,000 to 1.8. So everyone who has business culture in their name, have a mess around with this though. Sometimes it just, I know the algorithm's a bit strange. I tend to leave it like this and just filter it out. Business owner, business coach. Yep. But sometimes it comes up like football coach when I didn't type in football coach. So it's a bit annoying. So just like double check people before you actually reach out to them. Um, and yeah. So that's the way to connect to people normally on LinkedIn. And let's now go on to Sales Navigator. In terms of Sales Navigator, I would go to Lead Search here. I would type in the same thing here, but I would put I would put quote on. Actually, no, I wouldn't actually. Depends. Same thing as like um, LinkedIn Search. Just have a mess around of it. I type in Business Coach. Okay, seven hundred. If you've got a pool of over seven hundred fifty thousand people to potentially reach out to you've got a, you're, you're in a good market you're in a good market just make sure when you're targeting people like there's a massive amount of those people because in a small market it gets a little bit tricky um not trying to say it won't work but it does get a little bit tricky so current company um i don't really touch that company headcount i personally want to work with seven figure high six figure um business coaches that are doing at least at least eight thousand dollars and above um so they've got proof of content they've got case studies testimonials just so um it's easier to get these people results instead of working with new new um, coaches i just personally don't work with new coaches so i would try and work from anyone that has employees not self-employed seven to ten eleven to fifty that's my personal niche okay that takes it down to two hundred thirty thousand. so i won't touch any of this Current job title, same as LinkedIn search, shows owner, CEO, founder. Perfect. Um, I won't really touch this. I don't touch this. Years in current company. I kind of do six to 10, three to five, more than 10, one to two and less than one. I don't really, because they're technically going to be new beginners, so they might not have money to invest in um you know an agency like myself to book them more calls so i tend to go for more experience in terms of geography i would niche it down so for instance i would just go let's start with the united states for instance i'll even niche it down even further to like um states and um different states and united states uh, but yeah um in terms of connections so you don't want to do first first degrees of any pe people in your network so you want to do second and third that should narrow it down even further okay let's put it up actually which is good 
um what else do i do here so posted on linkedin so if you click this this basically means within the last 30 days this person has posted on linkedin which means they are more likely to in to reply than people that haven't but just be careful with that because there's a lot of people on linkedin that are active on linkedin but they just don't post so just to give you the thumbs up on that um i tend to just keep this off to be honest but I would then just narrow my search. So let's just say New York. I'm sure there's a lot of wealthy business coaches in New York. So I'd narrow it down and that should narrow it down to maybe about 3,000. Yeah, see, I've been doing this for too long. 3,000 people. Um, people you've interacted with, you want to exclude message. Perfect. Um, connections off, you don't want to touch that. And then that's pretty much it. Years in current position that we want to touch that. And then I'll go ahead and start messaging people. So in terms of what I would say, I would say the same thing, but just with a subject line. So um, let me just get the same thing. So you look, my messages are different. The other message I sent um, was I'm taking on eight to 22. So you just want to like say, you want to say random numbers. So they actually think it's actually a clever marketing tool. You want to say I'm taking on like, um, no, would you be open to an extra 17 appointments this month? Like just say like a random number, like don't say like 20 or 40, just say like 21 or like 28 or something like that, or, or nine just so they think, okay, this guy's actually thought this through, like why nine exactly? It will leave them more like intrigued to actually wanting to potentially find out more. Um, so in terms of subject line, like I said, I want to capitals because I don't want them to think it's automated. So I wanted to think, okay, you could just quickly type something up. Would that work, Marcus? I'll literally say that. Um, even the good day, I wouldn't even say that. Hi, Marcus, hope you're well. Um, and then we can just change this to just, just wanted to reach out. Just wanted to reach out. I'm taking on three. Let's niche this down now. Business coaches. This bomb for the pair results. Model mind if I send some more information, I can delete this bit now. Um, and then I'll do it. Let me show you how like fast you can do this. So and I'll just go down, bang. He's disabled his credits. I know about Adam. I don't think I want to message him. I'll just do it. And we just got to do it, guys. This is like, this is the graph. Have some, have a podcast in the background and just get to work. Simple as make sure you're tracking too. Actually, it takes long because you need to track and everything too. Um, so I'll go down again. Business coach. Sometimes it, it comes up with random people. So just make sure. So let's actually turn these on and see if it filters out the search even more. Let's see what comes up. Okay, business coach. Business coach. There we go. Victoria um, and just try and bang it out just like set your timer so go into your phone and just go to time and just set your time for one hour and then just work I mean within one hour you can easily send 100 messages you just send 100 messages and you get one booked call that is five booked calls of um, a week that is 20 booked calls a month and if you're closing at 10 percent, that's two clients like it's literally just a numbers game so start at the top reverse reverse um your way down and that's what i'll do just go ahead and start sending messages make sure you have a good laptop fast wi-fi because that helps there's nothing worse than trying to do all of this and you have a slow laptop and your wi-fi shit um and yeah, because it just slows it down, I get really frustrated and angry and I lose patience. So the first thing I did when I started making money was um, 
I got like a fast laptop. Like this laptop is 2023 brand new. Um, and it just, it's so good. I, I love it. So yeah, that's it for the training. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If you want me to create more like live training like this, this is the exact thing I did to book 500 appointments on my calendar this year. Like this is the exact thing. Me, I'm one appointment setter. She's sending, she spends all day sending messages. And I pay her well for that because I know it's the most leveraged thing I could do in my business. So that's it. Subscribe to the YouTube, to my YouTube, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.